First Timothy chapter 3. By the grace of my Father, with the blessings of my brother, I am here with the Holy Ghost, bringing you the King James Version of First Timothy chapter 3. Now Paul is in the middle of explaining how a church is run. In this chapter, he's going to go over how to choose church leaders. First one, this is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Two, a bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, enjoys that stuff. Three, not given to wine, no striker. Not greedy, a filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Four, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. In other words, they're the best kids in town. They behave all the time. He has taught them right. Five, he's got parentheses on this one. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Six, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into condemnation with the devil. So if you haven't been around the block, if you haven't learned, if you're, there is a chance that, 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 that the praise will fill you with pride, swell your head up, and, and the devil comes along and pops it. Seven, moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. And we've watched the snare of the devil. We watch it quite a bit, where people are looking for reasons to impugn other people, whether it's real or not. Uh, so you gotta you got to be on good terms with everybody so that you don't have people out there looking to poke at you and throw eggs and dirt. And... Eight, likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy of filthy lucre. Now notice... A little bit of a difference here, okay? Not given to wine, okay? When it comes to the deacon, not given to much wine. But he can't be greedy, can't be double-tongued, he can't, can't tell you one thing and somebody else something else. Honesty, that's the main characteristic of a Christian. Nine, holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. Boy, I struggle with this. I've spent my lifetime with the Lord. He's done things. I, sometimes I wonder about tomorrow, which is not a good thing. So I'm supposed to be creating that. But holding the mystery of faith and pure conscience, keeping it within yourself, always knowing that God is there. Yeah, I might stumble. I might, you know, Holy Ghost grabs a hold of me and snags me back up again. They have a vested interest in me, I think. Ten. And let these also first be proved. Then 
let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Verify them. Let it all be proved. Find out. 11. Even so, must their wives be grave, not slanders, sober, faithful in all things. So it's a family thing. It's not just, not just him. 12. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruling their children and their own house well. 13. For they that have used the office of a deacon well purchased to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. Hmm, so if you're doing it right, you're doing a good thing for God, Christ is going to reward you for that. 14, these things write I unto thee, hoping to come unto thee shortly. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. 16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God would manifest in the flesh justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up in glory. The great mystery, they talk about the great mystery, it's the creation and how everything works, which is what's explained to us in, in Romans. <sighs> everything that's happened, happened pretty much for a reason. Uh, we get to choose which way we wanted to go, but pretty much most of it's done. Uh, if somebody can't be there to help, you're supposed to know the rules and regulations yourself. You're supposed to keep them in place. You're supposed to reinforce them. So even if the boss can't make it, Paul can't show up, okay, you're still supposed to keep the mystery alive that everybody can understand Christ. And walk.